one of the other top stories of the year, e-readers. The launch of Apple's iPad seems to be raising the stakes in this game, and there's been some buzz about what deals Apple has with the publishers. So just what is the future of e-readers and the publishing world? Well, here with me now are Kathy Black, the president of Hearst Magazines, and also Brian Murray, the president and CEO of HarperCollins Publishers. And thank you so much for joining me thank you, uh, on this morning. And certainly I was just saying that, you know, our viewers are so interested in this topic because a lot of them are e-reader users. Um, first off, with the Apple iPad. I mean, have you guys had any discussions with Steve Jobs at all about this? Well, I haven't personally, but there have been a lot of discussions going on with anybody, you know, at Apple because it's a, it potentially is a great device. But I think what we would say, it's not only about one device. It really is about the content that we produce being able to move ac across multiple devices. Right, to be fluid across Absolutely. devices. And what about for you, Brian? Yeah, well, I have not personally met him, but uh, he's had a team in New York for the last several weeks, and he's been meeting with HarperCollins and other publishers. Right. And do you know the nature of the discussions? I mean, are most publishers quite excited about this, you know, iPad or not? I think they're very excited about it. I mean, Apple represents another major partner for publishers. So um, they're a new partner, they have a new device, and a new bookstore. And I think the bookstore is one of the most important things for book publishers because they're going to be able to aggregate all the book content and make it very easy for consumers to find books. Now, a lot of people had talked about before, you know, before this was launched, and there was so much buzz. Kathy, you and I were talking yep. about this uh, earlier this year that it would be a game changer for the publishing world that it would finally be a way for publishers to charge for content online is this a game changer or not well that's that those are all the conversations that are going on at this point there's conversations going on with advertisers who are very interested in e-reading devices but then how do you price for the advertising mm -hmm. what about subscriptions is it an, an issue only it is a subscription is it an annual subscription so the business issues are the ones that have to be really very carefully thought out so that we keep the genie in the bottle. I mean, we want a revenue model that makes sense for our side. We are the producers of the content. We want a revenue model that does not only benefit the device manufacturer. I'd say at this point in time, the device manufacturer, like the Kindle, that benefits Amazon. It does not really benefit the publisher at this point in time. Right, which is why, and I know in your lap you're holding the Skiff yeah. Reader, uh, which is something that you and various other magazine uh, publishers are putting together because you not only want to own the content, but you also want to have a hardware uh, that, that fits your content, well, right? and we want a business relationship where there's a revenue model. I mean, when we Can talk you about... hold up that skip sure, I'd be for, happy to. for our audience? This is just a, this is a beta. Um, it's going to be very exciting as time goes on, um, and there will be many of them like this, but this is the Skiff device that is a, an electronic reading device. It measures 11 and a half inches diagonally. It's the thinnest It's more like point. a magazine at this point. It is yeah. more like a magazine, and I think that's the important part of it. It will be a magazine reading experience, so it will have the graphic the illustration, the photography. I mean, that's what makes a magazine really come alive. Right. I mean, it's something like that, Brian. Would that work for the publishing world where book publishers would band together and make their own e-readers? And at this point, won't we then become saturated with e-readers? I mean, what is your view on that? Yeah, I mean, my view is that the, uh, I don't think book publishers are going to get together and make a device. But we know at the Consumer Electronics Show and looking at the Skiff and the iPad, there are going to be dozens of devices out there. And so we want to make as many deals with as many partners as possible to sell our content so that we can connect our authors with those consumers who want to read on these devices. Now, what about the pricing side of the equation? Because, Kathy, you were just mentioning, you know, you need to find the business model. What is the right business model? I mean, how far along are we or how far away are we to really finding the right business model? Well, the business model will be worked on over the course of the next year. But at this point, when these devices come out, they will be in black and white. And, of course, a magazine experience is a four-color experience, so that we want the four-color capabilities to be there. So I think to some extent there's a little bit of hype in the market at this point as to how fast this is all going to happen, mm -hmm. but it will happen certainly in 2010 or early into 2011. And then all throughout this year there will be those same kinds of uh, business meetings going on about what is the revenue sharing model. We believe the market is there, but yet the iPad device will be somewhere between four and eight hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a pretty significant expenditure. You look at the you know the millions of, of smartphones that are on the market already or the iPhone that's on the market already or the Kindle or the Nook I mean all these kinds of things at the end of the day the consumer is the one that's going to make a choice as to what fits their lifestyle their pocketbook and what they can afford and what essentially they can, their pocketbook